everybody. Today is January 30th, 2018, Tuesday. Sorry, my car's making some weird noise and I don't know why. I'm out running some errands. I took my, I took two of my sons to work. I took my boarder to work and I ate my breakfast, which was mini wheats. Not the frosted kind, the kind that's just wheat. With some bananas and some milk and a nice cup of coffee. And I have to tell you, okay, I did not... The vlog I put out yesterday was from Sunday. I spent hours, hours yesterday editing video from Saturday and Sunday. I have, I have another video that's going to come out tomorrow night from... It's just like shows us gaming. I didn't know if anybody would be interested in that, but I figured I'd put, since I had all that video footage, I went through it and cut stuff out. And Listen, I am not a professional editor. <laughs> the video I put out last night, like, we're, we were at, because, you know, I, I went live at the Philadelphia Auto Show. And by the time I was at 29 minutes, um, my phone was overheating and it was down to 25%, I guess. Because I use my phone. Um, I have a camera, but it's not as good as my phone. I should probably get a new camera. I, I don't know if that would overheat. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think I've ever videoed for that long. But anyway, <laughs> maybe you have to have your phone to do live. I'm not sure. Anyway, so, so then I took video down. We went down to the... Well, I... I I put I closed my phone and I put it on a charger for a while and then we went down to the floor level the I mean the street level of the Pennsylvania Convention Center they had the dub section which is it's a place where people they show they show these companies that I, mean, I guess dub is one of the companies I think listen I don't know what anything means <laughs> isn't that terrible I just love going there They'll have um, all these cars and trucks and motorcycles and there's loud music and there's flashing lights and everything. It's like, it's like, have you ever seen that show Pimp, Pimp My Ride or Pimp Your Ride or something like that? So they'll have stuff like that. They'll have, they'll have cars with TVs in them, cars with video games in them. And um, I cut all that together with the parts that I liked the best and... I put music over it because there's music playing in the background while I was down there and I didn't know if I'd get a copyright strike. Plus you hear me talking to my sons saying, <laughs> well Dave was, I have to tell you Dave was pushing me around up in the regular part of the car show and he was getting tired from it because he was pushing me in a wheelchair and then we went down to the dub section. Just because we were, we, were, we were there for hours, so I got a wheelchair. Other, there's not a lot of places to sit. I mean, unless you want to sit in a car, but then there's people waiting to sit in the cars. Ugh, I, don't, I will get into that later, okay? But, we, uh, so, so Dave was pushing me around, so when we got down to the dub section, we ran into my youngest son and his girlfriend and his friend. Well, his girlfriend, you've seen her in the video. Her name's Sarah. Since she let me put her in, her, in the video, because she's cool like that. <laughs> That's who I was eating lunch with. Um, we got down there, and they were there, and uh, my youngest son, he says, uh, you want me to take over pushing, the, pushing my mom around? And Dave's like, okay, so I gave Dave a break. Well, my son is pushing me around like it's a race. I mean, not literally, but he was pushing me so fast I couldn't look at the cars. So it's like, I'd, we, there'd be like this awesome car and he'd just keep pushing me past it. I'm like, I want to look at that. <laughs> Can we stop? I want to look at that. And he's like, I'll get it when I come back around. <laughs> it's like I had no control over the thing. Well, we found out later... We found out later that they had scooters, but you had to, if you wanted to rent them, it was $70 a day. $70 to rent a scooter. I guess because people might run off with them. I don't know. But the wheelchair, you just give them your driver's license. Oops. I just opened my window by accident. 
So, yeah, the thing I got to say about the auto show is, I say this every year, too. <laughs> I Every time after the show, okay, I enjoy it. I love it. I love cars. It's not like it used to be. It used to be when I, because I've gone, I mean, I went years ago, years and years ago, like, I don't know, 10 years ago, maybe longer, 15. Um... They used to have all the hoods open. You could see the engines. You could sit in almost every car. They'd have at least one car company would have a concept car there. I mean, it would be up on the platform and someone would be explaining it. You couldn't get close to it, but they'd have one. Usually two companies would. Um, for a few years, uh, what is it called? Volvo would have um, one of their crash car, crash test cars there. And, it, and they'd have a video showing the different tests that that particular car went through. And you could see the crumpling and, you know, you could see how well the car stood up to that. Uh, Ford would have, I mean, a few years they had two different, they'd have two different cop car models. And you could get into the cop car and, and you know, touch everything. I mean, you couldn't turn on the computers and stuff, but but you could see what everything looked like. It was really cool. Now it's like, if you want to see an engine, you usually have to ask to see an engine unless they have it propped up, propped open. Like, say say you're in a section for a car company. Not all the sections were like this, but you'd be in a section for a car company. They'd have different car models and stuff. They'd all have the hoods down. Some of them, if you open the hood, there's nothing there. Like, they won't open the hood on some of them. It did not used to be like this, okay? Um, there'd be some, some you'd open and you'd ask to have the hood opened and there'd be a cover across it. So then you'd have to ask for them to remove the cover. And it's like, do people, are people that go to car shows not even interested in cars anymore? They just want to look at the outside? I mean, I could stay at home and look at some pictures. You know what I'm saying? I want to get in there. I want to look at the, I want to look at the little, the manifold and the, and the, and the different kinds of engines. Oh, what was that engine that we saw? I have to go back through the video. There was this one engine. Oh my God, what car was it on? I'm gonna have to ask Dave. It was the way that the the way that the. All right, you know how you have you. Listen, I am not great at cars, but I love them. Okay. <laughs> you know how like a straight. So say you have a straight six and it has all of the things coming off one side, or you'd have a V6 and it would have three on each side well this one I don't know exactly how it went but it wouldn't it went like this and it went straight down and what how many cylinders did they say it was I think it was in the Chevy section honestly if I'm remembering correctly okay I'm gonna have to ask him this is getting I'm going too long now I'm going too long <laughs> but you know I love the old car stuff and I could not find the Camaro clubs this year. There was a lot of... I love Camaros, especially seven, you know, Camaros from the 70s. They, they had at least two um, Mustang clubs there, and then they had these other clubs that... Oh, they had a club there that was electrical car, electric cars. I mean, I saw, like, they had, like, two or three cars. Like, one was experimental. I don't even think I put them on the video. I don't know, like... I mean, I think electric cars are interesting, but it's the engine that's exciting to me, you know? So... <laughs> not that I'm big... Not that I want to pollute the earth and all that, but... I just like the... I like the way the engine works. The way the... The way the spark plugs fire and then it makes an explosion and it pushes up the piston and the engine works and, and the car's moving and there's all physical parts, you know. I don't know. It's like the old trains. I love the old trains, too. Well, I'm parked somewhere. I'm parked outside of Staples because i got to go make some photocopies. And... I gotta send out some mail, but I don't know if I want to go to the post office or not. Do you ever do you ever get this thing where you like you're sending something in the mail and you think one stamp will do, but you're not exactly sure, but you don't want to go into the post office, so you debate about whether you should do one stamp or two, one stamp or two, and if you put two, and it's obviously a one stamp thing, does the person gonna think you're weird? 
And why do I care if the person thinks I'm weird? I, I mean, I guess I am weird. I don't know. Anyway, I guess I should go in, so I'll talk to you in a bit. Hey, it's still Tuesday. I just re I just realized it's uh, it's getting late, and I forgot to finish my vlog. Um, I went I went to the store and got a couple things when I picked up my son, just like three or four things. And right now I'm waiting for my youngest son to get out of work. He said he was done, but I'm here and he hasn't come <laughs> he hasn't come out yet. But I know I was saying something else about the car show. Anyway, no sense in bringing that up again. And yes, I realize that my videos lately, the sound has been like I've been popping the the sound, the mic sound or whatever. Uh, it's because my microphone, the one that I bought, isn't isn't working uh, like it was. So I'm I'm researching, getting ready to buy a new one. I think I'm gonna buy the I think I'm gonna buy the Rode Lavalier mic, but it's kind of expensive. So I gotta put away, I gotta put aside some money for that because I didn't have it in my budget. So that is the plan. And right now it is 27 degrees Fahrenheit in southeastern Pennsylvania. It's 8.21 p.m. And I hope you're having a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.